Hello there and welcome to another video. Now, this video has got two purposes. Uh, the first part is to draw attention to this character here, Nathan Oakley. Now, I generally avoid making videos directly about personalities and the Flat Earth movement, but Oakley joined in um, a hangout that was hosted by Spaceman the other night. Now, Spaceman... Um, makes no secret the fact that he's leaves some very critical comments to say the least on flat videos. So Oakley was raging about this and came on Spaceman's hangout to basically confront Spaceman about these just obviously throwaway comments that are just not meant to be taken too seriously. Uh, so Oakley got a bit upset about this and had a rant at Spaceman. Fine, you know, we will run at you lot, you lot, you run to us, you know. But anyway, Oakley then went away and made a follow up video in which he goes into a really vicious rant about Spaceman and about what he calls trolls, which is essentially people who have the audacity to point out that there's no way that Earth can possibly be flat. Uh, now, this the other part of this video is to also just to highlight this story. And the way it's been completely misrepresented by flat earthers, amongst them Oakley, but other flat earthers have been bringing it up again recently. And it's about this woman who gave birth on a flight. Uh, well, anyway, let's. I'll just let you hear a little bit of what Oakley says about this. So there's a China Airways flight from Bali to LA, and mid-flight, uh, a lady who's on board gives birth. Uh, she's four weeks premature and they land uh, in an emergency situation. And where do they land? Alaska. Now, none of this makes any sense whatsoever on a globe Earth. Right, so Oakley's drawing attention to this story where this flight was reported to have taken off from Bali and landed in LA and it was diverted to Alaska. Now, as I, at the time, I came on this video and I, I was, unfortunately, I was using a different channel name, which I shut down not long after it. And so my, the comments I put on this video have long since gone. But I had about a three day argument with Oakley about this and found them to be completely unreasonable, irrational and fanatical. You could not reason with the guy. And I want to point out something that I pointed out to this guy at the time. It says here, I don't know if you can see this, it's referring to the doctor, a doctor who happened to be on board helped the woman give birth, who happened to be on board the flight which took off from Taiwan. It actually says in the news story that he's projected up behind him that the flight took off from Taiwan. Now, other people pointed this out to him in the comments um, the YouTube user, um, sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but it's something Rolf. He's actually pointed this out just a couple of weeks ago that it says which took off from Taiwan in the video. If you look down, Squeaker Alpha had a bit of a long um, going discussion with him about it. Squeaker Alpha provided him with four links to news stories which clarify what happened. Um, Little Brother is Watching You Too points the same thing out. Oakley just refuses point blank to accept this information. Now he says here, presumably sarcastically, you win troll. I made a video with the journey from Taiwan. So he's implying that he's made another video updating it. I can't find this updated video and he's left this video up. It's been up for almost exactly six months now. And the information on it is wrong. He's had it pointed out to him multiple times that it's wrong. The story you show even says the flight took off from Taiwan. That's a requiem for a dream. Uh, Squeaker Alpha again has had a long discussion with him about it. Oakley just refuses to accept it. This is not in any link. The headline makes it very clear where the plane was from and to. Flights are not listed by previous connection. This is nonsense. Bali to ILA. 
Now, when I discussed it with him, he kept repeating this like some kind of mantra, Bali to LA, Bali to LA. Um, but it says clearly that it took off from Taiwan. So what was the source of the confusion? Well, let's have a look at what actually happened. Now, if you go to the, this is the newspaper article he's got behind him is the Daily Mail, the Mail Online. Now, notice the headline says, Amazing moment, woman gives birth to premature baby girl on a Bali to Los Angeles flight. Now, if you look at what that headline says now, Amazing moment, woman gives birth to premature baby on a Taiwan to Los Angeles flight. This is what it said when Oakley used the story. This is what it says now. It was clearly a mistake that the male themselves have corrected. So what was the source of the confusion? Well, if I go to this link here, uh, which is thanks to Squeaker Alpha, and this, this is a link that was provided to Oakley six months ago. And it's a Taiwan Explorer. On October 8th, on a China Airlines flight from to, uh, Taipei to Los Angeles, a baby was born. Uh, this birth became instant news, blah, blah, blah. So it's just reporting that the flight was from Taipei to Los Angeles. So where did the Bali thing come in? Well, if you look down... The doctor who was on the flight, who helped the woman give birth, this is what it says about her. It was a honeymoon that Dr. Angelica Zen likely won't ever forget, and not just because of the romantic Bali vacation. On her way home to Los Angeles last week, the UCLA physician made her first unassisted delivery of a newborn baby. The doctor got on at Bali, Bali, sorry, or Bali, Bali, she got a flight from Bali to Taiwan. She then changed flights, got on a flight to Los Angeles, where the woman who was pregnant got on. Now, if we go to China Air, uh, China Airlines, and check their flights. Now, the flight was on a Wednesday, left on a Wednesday, so we'll choose a Wednesday. Search flights. Right, here we go. First flight that comes up, one stop. So it leaves Denpasar, Bali at 15.40. It goes to Taiwan. You then change in Taiwan for Los Angeles at 2350. It says the flight leaves at 2350. Let's have a look at what this air, um, newspaper report said, which took off from Taiwan Taiwan International Airport at 1150 p.m. on Wednesday. Okay. It's clear that this is what happened. The doctor got was in Bali on holiday on a honeymoon. She was flying back. She flew to Taiwan, changed, got on a flight from Taiwan to LA where the pregnant woman got on with her, but halfway across the woman goes into labor. And then they decide to reroute to, to Anchorage in Alaska. Now let's see if this makes sense on Google Earth. So I've marked these three places. Taiwan International Airport. Anchorage Airport. And LAX.
OK, so let's use the distance calculator to draw a line of least distance across the surface of the spherical Earth from Taiwan Airport to LA. Where are we? Over here. Okay. You can see I'm right at LA Airport. Now let's see what this line does when you see it. What it actually does on a spherical Earth. Well, there you go. It leaves Taiwan. And this is the path of least distance across the Earth that the plane would have followed. So the plane left Taiwan. Somewhere about here, the plane decides not to go all the way to LA, but to divert to here, Anchorage. Now, when you see it like this, suddenly it's not so unreasonable. It's perfectly understandable with the Earth being a sphere. Okay, the flight was from Taiwan to LA. The doctor got on in Bali, then joined the flight at Taiwan, where the pregnant woman got on. But somewhere across about here, the woman got into labor. They decided to reroute to Anchorage. Because it would probably... But it's wherever they decided to reroute from, I'm guessing that maybe half the amount of time that it would take to get to the next airport. Um, so they thought it was worthwhile, instead of going all the way to LAX, to reroute to Anchorage, where the woman was cared for. Now, all that information was linked to Oakley months ago. Okay. This article was, is linked to him on his own page, on the page of the video. People pointed out to him multiple times in the comments that it was from Taiwan to ballet. I had about a three-day argument with him about it, in which he behaved like an irrational lunatic. And the video, six months later, is still up with this completely false information and wrong argument. This is what the, uh, the Mail Online article actually says now. So this is why I think Oakley is an unreasonable, irrational fanatic. And I challenge him to remove this video. Otherwise, he's just going to look even more foolish.